Hi, this is Tweak. I'm making creatures for my sun catchers, and today it's going to be a sea turtle. Join us. Supplies you'll need for this project are, you'll need beads, elongated beads, round beads, wooden beads, glass beads, your choice, and I'll show you why as we get into the construction. You will need some beading wire, some crimping beads, and you'll need the tools to cut and to set the wire. So let's get started. I was asked to create a sea turtle, and I thought, well, let's do it. Here's the first one I came up with. I used a bunch of different beads, different sizes. I wanted a shell that had a bumpy look to it. So let's see, I'm going to use various beads to come up with a half shell, which is a half cluster ball. So let's get a little guide out. I'm going to make a half cluster ball. And what beads will I use? Hmm. Let's see, I've got a collection here of some wooden some not. I need 20 beads to make a half cluster. I have got brown, green, and wooden, and I'm going to make use of all of these. As you could see from the different little turtles that I made, when you mix up the beads and the wood, you get a very nice look. The ones that are solid beads are really, really shiny, but the more different you make the beads, I think the more interesting it's going to be. So let's see, we're going to throw five, four, three, three, two. So let's come up with a pattern here. I'm trying to get maybe one of each, and that makes this a little more fun because, you know, anything goes, and each little turtle is going to be very unique. They will all be different. Let's make our half cluster, which is actually the shell of the turtle. I'm using a 0 1.8 size wire. That's the beading wire I like to work with. And I'm gonna get enough out the first time here to make the cluster. The cluster and the head. Start off with the first five beads. String the wire back through that last bead and we end up with our little pentagon to start with. I always bead on the right side, pull through with the other side. Not paying that much attention, although I want the color combination to be a certain way. When they meet up, see, you get the variation going in the shell. It's going to be a little bit bumpy. I like that. Also, since these are going to be on a sun catcher, I like, I like the refraction of the light that comes through the different beads. I always flip it around so that the concave part of the bead is towards me. Left side, right side come up with the next three. These were, a, these were a fun little creature to, to develop and to create. Who doesn't love sea turtles? And there's our shell. Now I'm going to skimmer along the edge. We buddy up the two beads, always buddy them up, and then I'm just going to keep going. This just adds um, strength to the cluster. Sometimes if it gets too tight, just roll the beads a little bit on the wire and that sometimes helps to make the space more better to fit through. The two wires are meeting up. So I've got my shell done. Right here is going to be where his head is. See how pretty his shell is? To make his head, I'm going to add a bead right there, a little bead, and I'm going to go with brown. I've got brown and green beads and wooden beads to work with. So I've got a little four millimeter brown bead. I'm going to pull down to make the start of his neck. And then I'm going to add just a little flatter piece. I, I just like the looks of, of, it could be any bead. And I just put one there, <laughs> just like the looks of it. And then I used a teardrop bead for his head. So you put the wire through the skinny end, come out the top end, and I've got my turtle head. Now, if you don't like that look, you could put no bead there altogether, or you could choose a different one. That's what I'm going to go with on this guy. So I've got a crimping bead here. I'm done with this part. I got way too much wire, but I will save it and use it back. So I'm going to just let the crimping bead slide down to his head and pull really tight. Pull as tight as you can and we'll see how
how his head comes out. Because sometimes they flap down and sometimes they sit up. Oh, this turtle is sitting up. And I'm just going to give that a cut. There we go. Save that back. We have half our turtles already done. Now, I'm going to get another piece of wire and I'm going to hook up his legs, front and back. Now here, have some fun. What kind of leg do you want? I've got elongated beads. I've got glass beads. So I think today I'm going to go with, because I like the dark brown, you want longer legs in the front and then they have little shorter legs in the back. Let's see, what did I have here? Do I have some shorter, darker beads? Let's see. So how about something like that? So his little legs are going to be up in the front here, and then two littler ones towards the back. So I'm going to start with, get some little brown beads going here too. I'm going to get some wire, string this with a little bead, and let's get our wire first. I want enough that I can do all four legs. So I'm going to take his little body here, and I know I want his leg to be right about just off each bead on his neck, someplace in there, okay? So I'm going to come back a few beads on the shell and run the wire through. Let's see if I can get the wire to cooperate. Like I said, if you run into trouble, just roll the bead a little bit, and that seems to help to make the space a little better. Patience, it'll all work. There it goes through, but it's trying to get through the next bead. I only need you to go through one, please. If you really get stuck, and you can't get it through, I just bring in my pliers and I grab that little piece of wire and I pull it through. If I can get my hands on it, Tight space. Come on, there we go. Okay, so we got the wire pulled through. I want to leave enough. See, I've got a goodly amount here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the bead that's going to be his leg. Okay. Then I'm taking a little brown bead. You could use whatever color you want. I'm using brown to match his little leg. And I'm going to come back through this elongated bead, bypass that bead I just put on. I'm just going to come back through. And we'll tighten that up in a moment. Now you're going to go into the next bead. Okay. That's going to set you up for the next leg. Now see how that pulls into place? That worked out really went out way better than usual. What's going on, turtle? So now we're going to come through the next bead because we want to set up the next leg. I'm trying to get past his neck. Let's see, push his head down. Gives you access to the space. Do the same thing. Get the elongated bead. Little bead, I count this as like his toes. Bypass that bead and come back through the elongated bead. Now if you have trouble bringing these down closer to the body, there's one wire that's movable and one that isn't because it's tied up to the body. So I just grab my pliers and I pull gently. See? So this wire moves and that one stays in place. We've got his legs in place. And he moves around a little bit. These all have a little personality of their own. Now I'm just going to skim back through till I get to the back so I can add his back legs. So I'm going to skim through these beads. There we go. Sometimes it just takes a little bit of patience to make that all work. Okay, so now I'm back here where I want to place his legs. You could place them both next to each other straight out the back, but I'm going to give them just a little bit of space between each other. So I'm going to put a leg here. And then one there, there'll be space between. So a short elongated bead. There's his toe. I'm going to bypass that bead and come through the longer bead. OK, 
catches a little bit on the inside, but wiggle your way through. Now I want to make it tight. There we go. There's this other foot. Okay, now I'm going to come through the next bead. These two wires are going to meet out the back end. Ha, ah, wow, this guy must be flying underwater the way his legs are coming out. And I'm never quite sure when I place them all they're going to come out. That's kind of fun. All right, so we're going to take that elongated bead, let it rest, bring a little toe in, bypass the toe, and go back into that elongated bead. Okay. And pull it taut. That one I didn't need to have pliers. So I've got my little crazy little turtle here. I'm going to come back through the bead. You can see where it came out. So I'm going to come back through the buddy next to it. There we go. Got it. All right. Wow, this guy's swimming. His legs are going a little bit up. <laughs> I guess that's absolutely fine. Head's looking over that way. He's getting ready to run. Let's put a little tiny tail on him. Let's see. Do we want a couple? I'm going to add a green and a brown one this time. Give him a little bit of a tail. A little more whimsy to him. A little more color. Oh, these look so pretty when they're shining in the sunlight. Even with the wood, they're so pretty. And now a crimp bead. We've got another one that's a little bit bigger bead. Which make a little more of a tail. Everybody in order? Yep, give that a crimp. <laughs> You've got a little flagship tail there and clip. When I use these for the sun catcher, I will add hangers to them. Oh my gosh, there's our little turtle. He's crazy looking. <laughs> you can tell based upon what beads you use. So this one here, a little bit different size, a little bit different in the beads, same construction. The heads sometimes go up, the heads sometimes go down, but there you have it. You have your little turtle ready to join his friends on our sun catchers. So if you like what you've seen here today, give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and remember to ring the bell so you know when another episode of Tweaks with Tweak is coming along. In another episode, we'll show you how we take all these turtles and turn them into our sun catcher. See you again!